So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how to create new style of CGI and VFX animation with using Blender. And guys, for tracking, I use After Effect. Okay, so guys, now I show you how to create this type of animation and go to on After Effect here and see guys, that's my tracking. So play, right? See guys, that's my simple After Effect tracking. Okay, so now guys, stop, go to on back and I create new project new project check and go to on here create new composition so guys import your clip so import guys you can download this clip link in description and second one you can download project file from my website so guys go to on here preview and guys see that's my camera track check okay so guys my tracking is finished and go to on advanced See that's my average error it's 0.26 is best so guys now you can take guys this one that's my simple tracking points and guys i select this wall so right click and create solid and camera check yeah that's it guys see that's my simple tracker and play right okay so guys now import your data tracking data in blender so stop Go to our back and go to our here and transform. So guys select top 4 position copy. Guys I am using this time A to blend add on. So guys delete and firstly guys create plane check. Yeah see guys that's my simple plane. And now guys go to on here camera and camera position orientation copy. And guys camera check. So guys now starting from 1 second is default on 0 so starting from 1 second and go to on here double click on this camera focal length copy yes and guys select this camera and focal length paste yes okay so guys now press 0 and guys also frame guys I increase frame so end frame see that's my last like a 449 and guys see that's my fps 23.97 fps so go to on here and go to on here see guys that's my frame rate i use 23.97 and guys go to on here and like a 449 yes okay so guys now next one import your same clip select your camera background and import same clip so guys select and import Guys, opacity 100% here, opacity 100% check. So, closer and play. Yeah. See, guys, that's my 3D tracking data. Right? It's really simple. Okay, so guys, see, that's my plane. And now, guys, I increase plane size. So, go to an edit mode. And guys, select this one. Edit mode check. Guys, select this point, this one. And increase this scale size. So go to on here like this. Okay. So guys go to on last. And guys go wireframe check. So I change this time here. Position. Yeah. And go to on back. Yes. Right. Little bit more. Select this position. Little bit. Yes. Good. And play. See guys. Attach on corner to corner. Right. It's most important part. Attach corner to corner edge. And guys, play backward. Yes, great. Okay, so now guys, select this point and go to on here. Select this point here. Position change and closer more here. Yeah, good. And guys, little bit more change. Okay, so also guys, position change like this corner to corner. Yeah. See guys, that's my corner shape. And guys, now little bit increase this height. Select and height increase. Depend on your work. Yes, good. Right, see guys, that's my wall. And now, guys, I quit extrude. So, guys, select this one. Wall. And guys, select edge. Select this edge. Press E. E and G. Enter. So, go to on here. Like this. Good right and guys here and guys now select edge go to on here like this yes great 
okay so guys now this time i increase more height so add and press e and g enter and go to our up like this yeah great see guys that's very simple wall right and guys now i take this one here fill this one so guys this time select this edge this one yeah like this and guys same e and g enter so guys go to on here like this okay so guys go to on here and guys see that's not correct so little bit off little bit yeah right it's good and press zero yeah great and guys now go to on here corner to corner great right see guys, that's my simple composition okay so guys all is good and next one guys you can create bridge so guys select this one and this edge and right click use bridge loop check and guys select this face this face check and press e and g enter so go to one back like this yeah great because that's my path and guys delete your top face delete face check and click on here see guys that's my composition right and press zero and guys now click on here wireframe wireframe check and guys now go to on back and play yes see guys that's my simple composition right it's looking really beautiful and guys now next one little bit change this one stop little bit change on here guys i increase this face so guys select this face so go to on edit mode select this one and this one and go to on here like this yeah it's good and guys select edge this edge on guys corner and little bit down yeah little bit more yes great and press zero okay so guys my composition is finished my composition is looking really good and guys next one i take this time cube so guys i take new collection like a cube guys i create balls effect balls and guys i create like a cube and cube check so press 7 and go to on here like this and increase scale size like this so click on here yeah good and guys little bit more change yes great okay so now guys go to on wireframe here wireframe check and guys select this face delete this one because i create balls effect so guys delete face and guys select top face and press e extrude so shortcut command e and g enter and go to on here like this press zero guys don't inside this frame and yeah it's good and now guys delete your face front face delete and face delete and select edge select edge right and press e and g enter up and increase scale size scale size increase like this yeah yeah see that's my composition and next one guys i take this time spare i use spare and guys i create new collection select this one that's my like a spare and guys go to all add and use mesh and use uv spare so guys i change the setting so setting change so guys segments decrease i create low poly like a 22 and ring i like 10 yeah simple low poly and radius 0.2 and guys more okay so guys you can change is dependent on your composition so 0.2 position actually radius good and right click shade smoother and press 7 that's my top view so go to on here and guys i take array so go to on here array check so count i like 10 and factor i like 2 
Yes. See guys, that's my balls. Guys, it's depending on your work. You can increase count. It's depending on your work compute system configuration. And go to on one more time array. So factor change like a Y, like a two and count are like 12. Yes, go to on mid. So guys, press one and go to on top view, top here yeah, like this. And guys, I increase one more time array height increase. So array check. So count are like 25 and factor z1 like a 2 yes see guys that's my simple composition right it's good guys you can increase more spares depending on your system configuration and guys i like 30 30 is good for me yeah and next one guys i apply rigid body tag so guys firstly select the shape this one and i apply rigid body so that's my passive because that's my collision effect and mesh check so guys that's my friction friction this one i like zero pounds i like 0 0.2 yes and guys i like this wall this one so guys rigid body passive so and uh, that's my mesh guys friction i like 0 0.1 and bounce 0 0.2 yeah great okay so guys now select this pair and guys select this pair rigid body and I use active and shape I like spherical and friction friction I like 0 0.1 and bounce 0 0.2 is good guys you can increase bounce is depending on your work you like a 0 0.3 is good okay so guys all is good and now guys I create separate ball effect separate so go to on here spare and guys apply all array apply and guys go to on edit mode edit mode check and select this vertex and press p for loose part this one loose part check yeah and go to on object mode so guys i change center pivot go to on here center pivot so go to on object and set origin origin to geometry check yeah center pivot and go to on here guys see that's my rigid body work so catch it and go to on here guys big submission 449 and big all dynamic check see guys that's my baking right guys don't worry it's not take lots of time okay so guys my baking is finished and now press zero so click on here wireframe yeah see guys, that's my ball dynamic animation and click on here yeah it's looking really beautiful and wireframe uncheck yes see guys that's my really cool dynamic effect and guys now i change some render setting and apply light so stop and go to on here guys i little bit change one more setting so guys go to on back and delete all bake check so go to on here wireframe and guys select this shape this one so go to on edit mode select edge and this one and little bit here yeah good and guys now select this shape so object select this shape and go to on again edit mode so guys select this one shape and little bit change like this yeah right it's simple okay so now guys go to an object and guys next one I apply render setting and some change setting. So guys go to on cycle render and divide GPU check. Guys, I like SAM. I like 256 is good for me. And go to on here fill and transparent check. And color management, I like standard. So go to on here. I apply HDR environment texture. So apply. Guys, you can apply any light texture. So like this one and apply and also use sunlight light and use sunlight so guys simple i take one sunlight like this yeah guys don't rotate and guys go to on here so stand one and angle like a 20 is good and guys now i create bridge 
so go to on here guys select this one shape wall go to our edit mode select this shape this one and this one and right click guys use bridge and check yes enter okay so guys that's it my work is finished and now press zero and guys i show you my one frame render and create some composition so render and render image check okay so guys also close and guys select your wall this one and go to on here and visibility and shadow catcher check and one more time render and render image check okay so guys my render is finished it's not visible so close and go to on compositing and use node check so guys firstly shift a and use movie clip so guys import your same movie clip select and guys use alpha over so alpha over connect to movie clip top and lastly use viewer viewer check and connect to viewer check yes that's it guys see guys that's my first stream and now guys my work is finished and go to on again here and guys delete all big and one more time lastly big all dynamic check Okay, so guys, my final baking animation is finished and preview. Yeah, great. And click on here. Yeah, it's looking really beautiful. Right. And guys, I show you my one frame render and render and render image check. Yes. See guys, that's my simple render. And guys, also you can apply material. Guys, I have already created material. So go to on last first frame and guys select your first pair and guys I have material guys you can download this material file link in description and also download from my website and material select this ball material and apply so guys select first spare and apply ball material and also go to last and select your last ball spare and go to on here object and link link material check yes and play again click on here yes okay so guys click on here colors yes see guys that's my beautiful color and guys now again render and render image check yes see guys that's my final work it's looking really beautiful beautiful vfx animation and balls is looking really realistic Okay, so guys, close and my work is finished. Go to on here and output. Guys, I create new folder, new folder check and guys take any file name like a one and go to on back. So guys, render and render animation check. Okay, so guys, that's it. My work is finished. So guys, if you like my video, please share and please subscribe my YouTube channel. And guys, you can download this project file from my website. It's free. Thank you.